the presidential election in 2023 will be crucial to Nigerians' existence. With the race for who succeeds President Muhammad Buhari as president gathers steams. Many factions and elements within the country's political, cultural, and religious space are gearing up to support a candidate that will do their bidding. While many think about the day-to-day -day politics, others have raised concerns about the existence of Nigeria ahead of 2023. With the deep throat division and disparity amongst the three largest ethnic groups, we take a look at some other factors that could undermine the existence of Nigeria before the 2023 elections. One, banditry on the rise. Banditry in Nigeria has become the norm. Since the turn of the year, the mainance has dominated the news cycle than any other news item. The daily abduction or kidnapping of school children in the north, has, in the north questions this administration's resolve in quelling the strength of the bandits. What is more interesting is that the government, rather than seek to end their activities, goes the extra mile to pay heavy ransoms to the bandits. Nigerians in the South have described abductions as the easiest way to financial freedom in the northern part of the country. School abductions have also rendered so many children in the North out of school, and the girl-child education has now returned to be a major threat. The Almajiri mainland is now in the thick and is on the rise. People, as it were, are scared of their lives. People cannot go out without any fear of being killed, maimed, abducted, or even taken away to unknown destinations. Religious crisis is also not a uh, an issue to be forgotten. The way at which the bandits infiltrate the Nigerian army, the way at which the bandits also kill soldiers, maim people, destroy families, and uh, rack, uh, raise down buildings, sack communities, are also issues to be worried about. Well, it is what it is. Secondly, we need to look at the IPOP's renewed strength. The independent people, the indigenous people of Biafra, rather, IPOP are working stronger in the face of several attacks from the federal government. IPOP, whose fight started in 2013, has taken the fight a step further. A national map has been unveiled by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdekanu. A paramilitary group is now in the fray, the Eastern Security Network, who have taken it upon themselves and are championing the cause of protecting the people of the Southeast from terrorists and uh, the Fulani headsmen who have taken over their forests. The insecurity apparatus Sorry, I beg your pardon. It's the security apparatus, the Eastern Security Network, is also sharpening up and shaping up to counter any threats, both on the land, the sea, or even the air. This is evident as we could see in the Olu massacre, the Olu attack that actually uh, was. Um, masterminded by the governor of Imo State. So, can they pull off a referendum before 2023? Nobody can say, but the likelihood is there. So anybody writing them off is doing so at his or her own detriment. Three, the rebirth of the Odudua Republic. This is another major threat. 
like IPOP, Odudua Republic has gone again, has once again amplified its voice to secede. Despite not being supported by the chieftains of the Southwest, several elements within the region are clamoring for their right to decide if they want to remain in Nigeria or not. The rise of Sunday Ibuho and the fact that he's been supported by some chiefs like Pa Ayuadebanjo, the um, Afeniferi leaders, Professor Banji Aketoye, and many others, to a very large extent shows that the Odudua Republic is also here to stay. It doesn't matter how the government tries to handle this issue. It doesn't matter how the government tries to, you know, push these issues. One thing is certain. The call for secession, the call for agitation is getting uh, stronger and stronger and stronger as the day goes by. Also, number four, Fulani groups have threatened to fight the Southwest presidency. This point will be one of the major reasons the country might not exist in 2023 if care is not taken. The fight against a southerner, especially from the Southwest, taken on the mantle of power has intensified. This has become obvious with the unwanted EFCC probe of Bola Ahmed Tinubu after elements within the country echoed his name to succeed President Muhammad Buhari. We have also seen press statements by Secretary of the Miyeti Allah who said the groups intend to continue with the northernization policy of the Ahmadu Belu in the country. There is nothing refuting these claims yet. So to a very large extent, it stands to be true. So guys, you can see with all these factors and probably so many other more factors that we have not mentioned and that probably will still come up with time. There are fears that Nigeria might not be in existence in 2023. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular situation. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.